So you might know of some people and they're able to solve a lot of problems in a short period of time. And you might know of some people and they're not able to solve even easy problems given a lot of time. And the difference is in problem solving skills. So you might ask, how can I improve my problem solving skills? Or can I improve my problem solving skills? And the answer to that is yes. I believe that anyone can improve their problem solving skills and anyone can become a great coder, a great problem solver if they follow the right strategy and if they follow the right approach. In fact, that's what I'm here for today. I'm going to show you how to improve your problem solving skills. Now, obviously you're not going to become tourist overnight. You're not going to become William Lynn overnight, but with time you will see improvement. So let's get into it. So the first thing is start giving long contests or start giving long challenges. So you have these coding platforms, right? You have Code Forces, Code Shift, Hacker, Ad Coder, and most of the contests that are there are usually short contests, which goes on for a duration of two hours or at max three hours. And even when you're solving problems, the maximum time you give a problem is like half an hour, one hour, or at max two hours, and then you jump straight to the solution. And that's usually not enough time for your brain to either develop an intuition or for you to learn something new and then implement it in the problem. And that's where long contests come in. So long contests are pretty much the same as short contests except for the duration, which goes on for days, like a week or even 10 days. And in the duration of that time, you have no choice but to think about the problem. You have no choice to either learn something new or try different approaches to solve that problem. Because you cannot look at the solution till the contest ends. So you have this duration of a week or 10 days where you have to grind your gears, you have to think of different approaches and you have to try something to solve the problem. In fact, I remember when I used to give long contests on CodeChef, then I used to become totally immersed into it. And just to solve the problems, I would read a lot of algorithms, try different things to solve the problems. And sometimes I would solve the problem after four days, after five days. And there have been times where I even got dreams of the problem that I was solving. And all this really helped me develop my problem solving skills. And in fact, most of the red coders I know, most of the orange coders I know, all great coders that I know, have some way developed their problem solving skill with the help of long challenges. Because like I said, you have no choice but to think about the problem, become immersed in it, and that really, really helps you develop your problem solving skills. So two long contests which I'm going to suggest to you, one is Code Shift Long Challenge. So these days it only goes on for two days or three days, earlier it was for 10 days. So what you can do, go on Code Chef, go on the archive, and in the previous archives, solve problems and give it 10 days. Don't look at the solution before the 10 days end and try to solve it in the 10 days without looking at the solution. Other is Hackerat uh, circuits. So Hackerat has monthly circuits where they have a week time, they give you problems and you have to solve it in that week's time. And like I said, again, in that week, you cannot look at the solution. You have to try to find a way to solve it. So start giving long challenges. It will really, really help you in developing your problem solving skills. Okay, the next thing to develop the problem solving skills is to have a clear mind. So there's a couple of things you can do for that. You can either meditate and you should obviously take proper amount of sleep. So it's very necessary to have a clear mind. I'll tell you why. So a lot of times what happens is that a person is capable of solving the problem, but due to the anxiety, due to the stress or the tension, whatever it is, the person is not able to solve either in a contest or in an interview. And even it's scientifically proven that uh, when a person is under stress, when a person is under anxiety or tension, then their problem solving ability, their cognitive ability goes down. So it's very essential for you to have a clear head. And for that, like I said, either try some meditation exercises daily, like 10, 15 minutes daily, and obviously try to get appropriate amount of sleep every day. That will really help you in having a clear mind during the contest or during the interview, whenever you're solving the problem. Okay, the next thing to do to improve your problem solving skills is to read. Read about new algorithms, read about new data structures, read about new mathematical concepts. So when you read something new, suppose you read and learned Dijkstra's algorithm, then there's two advantages. One is you're gaining new knowledge, which is related to your field, right? So it is advantageous. And the other advantage is that whenever you learn something new, and whenever you learn something new, which is difficult, then it helps your mind grow. Whenever your mind register that concept, then it improves your problem solving cap capabilities. And it's been scientifically proven that when you read something new, when you read something difficult and when you learn it, then it helps improve your intelligence. So learn new algorithms. And for this, I suggest you, you can go on Geeks for Geeks. There's a lot of algorithms you can read from there. Try to read the algorithms which are going to be helpful to you. And then on Code Forces, there's a lot of blogs. There's blogs on dynamic programming. There's blogs on 
recursion, binary search trees. So read them, try to understand them and try to implement them. And that will really help you again in learning something new and in developing your problem solving skills. Okay. The next thing that will help you in developing your problem solving skills is to learn from others and learn from others who are better than you. So there's a couple of things you can do. First, you can uh, like ask your seniors who are higher rated or your friends who are higher rated. So you guys can give contests separately and after the contest, discuss with each other. After the contest and the contest ends, discuss with each other. Like you'll find different approaches and from their thought process, you'll try to learn something. You'll have an aha moment where you'll be able, where you'll think like, oh, why didn't I think of that? Or why didn't I think of this? And that again will help you and think of different ways, different approaches in solving the same problem. And that will help you grow your mind, your skills. And the other thing you can do is there's these high rated coders. There's William Lin, there's Eric To, there's Utkash Gupta, and they solve problems on live stream. Right, so they solve problems in the video and they explain their thought process while solving the problem. So you can look at their videos and try to see how they're solving, try to see how their thought process is working and you'll be able to learn something new from that. And just by watching and then implementing the same thing in your, uh, by yourself, you'll be able to learn something new. Okay, the next thing to do to develop your problem solving skills, and this is the most important, is to be consistent. So a lot of times what happens is that what people do they get into grind mode and they solve a lot of problems for a week and they burn out and then they take two weeks break and they take a month break and again when they start they feel like they haven't improved and obviously you haven't improved because you haven't been consistent and you need to be consistent so try solving problems daily or alternate day i would highly suggest to you solve problems daily solve problems at the beginning of the day and then you can even think about the problem later on when you find time but try to be consistent. If you're not consistent, then you're not going to see consistent results. That is obvious. For consistent results, you have to put consistent efforts. So be consistent in solving problems. Solve problems daily. Fix a time slot where you solve problems. Be dedicated. Be disciplined towards this and be consistent. This is very important. If you're not consistent, then no matter what you do, if you don't practice enough, then no matter what you do, you're not going to improve. Okay? So be consistent. Now, the next thing and the last part is to solve puzzles. So I don't, and I'm not talking about word puzzles or like picture puzzles, but try to solve aptitude puzzles, mathematical puzzles, or even coding puzzles. And I don't need to explain why solving puzzles are important, but trust me, if you have time, and this is not very important, only if you have time, try to get into puzzles. But if you have time and you solve puzzles, then again, it'll really help you develop your skills. So for this, you can go on Geeks for Geeks. Geeks for Geeks has a puzzles section. You can read from there, try to solve puzzles from there. And you can even search on Google coding puzzles, aptitude puzzles, you'll find a ton of puzzles. So try to do this in your free time. This is not something too much necessary. Try to do this in your free time. Whenever you have free time or leisure time, try to solve puzzles. And again, that will help you. So that's it guys. These were the advice I had. I wanted to give you something different. I didn't want to give you the same advice which other YouTubers or other people have been giving you. But trust me, I've talked to a lot of people and I've gained knowledge from a lot of friends, seniors, great coders, high rated coders. And this is, I feel like this is what works for everyone. And like I said, it might take you some time. You might not have a like boost in rating, but with time, you're going to definitely see improvement. Just be consistent and try to follow it to the T. So that's all guys. If you have any doubts, let me know in the comments. I'll be sure to answer. Thank you.